After she finally admitted the infidelity to me, she told me that it had been a mistake and she wanted to stay with me. I told her that she needed to call her ex-boss and tell him that they could never speak again and I needed to hear her say the words to him. She resisted this fairly strongly. The new job, if it were to be materialized, would be an important career boost for her. Turning it down would be a big sacrifice. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story. I will put the link to this in the description like usual. You guys read the title? Let's get into it. So, my 38 year old wife of 16 years cheated on me. I'm 44. With her boss. Oh, 16 years. Wow. About a month ago, my wife cheated on me with her ex-boss. He'd left the company the week before. We were both supposed to go to a party downtown that night and spend the night at a nearby hotel. Our babysitter became unavailable and I needed to stay home with our kiddo, five years old. She decided that she would go alone and stay the night without me. Before she left for work that morning, I told her how uncomfortable I was with that. Normally, I wouldn't have cared, but my spider sense was tingling because of weirdness over the previous few days. She told me there was nothing to worry about, and that was that. I woke up with a start at 2.15 a.m. and a knot in the pit of my stomach. She'd recently turned off her phone location service. Should have been a huge red flag, but I didn't actually think that much of it. But I checked it anyway. She turned it back on, and I could see she was at an apartment complex. Nowhere near the party location. She was there until 9 a.m. I confronted her when she got home and after some half-hearted lies, she stopped denying it. It was the first time. Might have been some groping and or oral earlier in the week, I'll never know. Though it wasn't a drunken moment of weakness. She'd been thinking about it and planning for it for a couple of weeks. She knew what she was doing and obviously didn't care what it did to the family. Our marriage has had its ups and downs, and I've not always been the greatest husband. I've never been unfaithful, though, and I love her dearly. Whatever issues we had, I think we could have worked through. From what I can piece together, I think she was looking for a quick escape from a husband and child that she felt were stifling her. It was a chance to have a different, more exciting life. Turns out that her ex-boss was really just looking for a little something-something on the side. He put her into the cab, still in her evening gown and made her make the 9 a.m. walk of shame back into her hotel by herself. Oops. After she finally admitted the infidelity to me, she told me that it had been a mistake and she wanted to stay with me. There's a chance that her ex-boss would try to hire her at a new company he works for. She's really damn good at her job. I suspect his motivations would be more that she would help him look good rather than sexual. She's really not his type. Hmm. Wow, that, that's what she's telling you. <laughs> I told her that there was no way that could happen. She couldn't be with me and work for the man she'd broken her vows with. Absolutely. I told her that she needed to call her ex-boss and tell him that they could never speak again and I needed to hear her say the words to him. She resisted this fairly strongly. The new job, if it were to be materialized, would be an important career boost for her. Turning it down would be a big sacrifice. So I understood some of the hesitation. I, I don't. She was asking me for a day or two to think it through. She went over to her mother's house for a couple of hours and when she came back, she told me that she decided to make the call and give up the career opportunity. What she didn't know was that because I get the phone bills, I have access to her call records. I could see that she talked to her boss for an hour while she was going to her mother's. I didn't mention that I knew this and had her call her boss. She told him that it had been a huge mistake and that they needed to cut off all communication. He said that he understood and would honor her wishes. Pretty much exactly what I wanted to hear. Later, I was asking her has she talked to her boss any since he put her in a cab back to her hotel. She said that she hadn't. I pressed her on this and she said, if you want the truth, I sent him a text just seeing how he was recovering from the party. I told her that I knew that this was a lie and I knew she talked to him before coming home from her mother's. I pressed her on what the hour long call was about. She told me it was to talk about what she was going to call him about, the breakup call. 
I realize, of course, that this made the whole breakup call a pile of nonsense. Yep, they set you up. I told her that I thought she called him to see if there was any chance of a relationship. She denied, 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 but couldn't otherwise explain what the heck the talk was about for so long. Finally, she let it slip that he'd said, you need to try to make it work with your husband. If not, then we'll see. So my instincts were right. She had to think about whether to turn down the possible career opportunity because she had to figure out what her options were. If she could have the job in the fellow she was infatuated with, that would be her preference. Failing that, she decided she'd rather lose the job and be with her family than to be alone and maybe or maybe not get the job. For what it's worth, I eventually told her to accept the job if they offered it. I don't think, I don't think he will though. Once he had sex with her, too much career risk for the drama and fallout. Now that was all about a month ago. Since then, she's been the model wife. We're going to counseling. She's done everything that I've asked. She's put up with my various late night talkathons. She doesn't complain when I don't let her sleep in our bedroom. And she's not made it about her much. She clearly wants things to work now, and I believe her when she says she wants to be with me. Wow. At the same time though, I'm still having difficulty just with the physical side of the infidelity. And I'm having a lot of trouble with being plan B. I'm thinking that the whole time, like dude, you're, you and the family were plan B. You're okay with this? Part of it is my bruised ego. But a very large part of it is a concern that she wants our relationship now. But what happens in the future? I feel like she accepted her life and is now gung-ho about making the best of it. What happens down the road though? Absolutely. So, the question in front of me now is what do I do? For the last month, I've been bouncing all over between just digging in and fixing things to thinking about asking her to leave. For what it's worth, if she leaves, the kiddo almost certainly stays with me. My work gives me the time and ability to be a stay-at-home dad, which is a role I enjoy. My inclination as a father is that I probably have to stay and try to make it work. Kids do best with their mommy and daddy who love and respect each other. If there's still even a remote chance of that happening for the long term, I don't think I can deny my son that chance. I'm hoping but not convinced that time will dull some of the raw emotion. Wow, to sum everything up, wife cheated on me with her boss, didn't work out at how she expected, and now wants our relationship to work out. Wow. Let me give my thoughts. Dude, and you mentioned it when I read it, I was like, you're plan B, what are you doing? You were plan B to this woman. And guys, I've already checked, it, there's, he didn't update this. It's been a while. Apparently he's, I don't know, he might be still with this woman, I don't know. But dude, don't ever, really? She smashed her boss. You find out about it. She was never going to tell you. You find out about it. You tell her to quit that job. You never speak to him again. As her husband, you tell her this. And she says, I don't know if I can do that because this is a great job opportunity. I would have left before that, but do at that point, at least come on, walk away. Yes, you have a son. 50-50 custody, if not full custody. Try your best to get that, and dude, she's done. She's dead to you. She gave her body to someone else. And then got upset when you told her not to talk to him again. Come on, seriously? She put you last. She put you last. She did not want you. She was done with you. Once she let somebody else go inside her, she can blame it on alcohol all she wants. She lied. She planned this. I'm going to the party without you. Because she knew what she was going to do. She knew exactly what she was going to do. Why would you stay with somebody like that? She premeditated this cheating. And then and then had the nerve. The nerve to say, I don't know if I want to stop talking to him. She had considered working with him still. Are you kidding me? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not really his type. He just banged you. What do you mean you're not his type? <laughs> he just banged you. Come on, man. I can't believe this guy went back, guys. He went back. She's the model wife. No, she's not. She's still talking to that guy. I guarantee it. Man, let's check out these comments. Someone said, she was actively trying to find something better. Got rejected by that something. Got busted. 
continued to lie, denied and covered it up. Now that those options are dried up, she has no chance but to act the role of a model citizen. She's obviously been okay at acting to this point, so I don't know why you'd buy this sudden change in attitude. She effing sucks. Thank you. Someone said, agreed. I seriously don't get people like this. She lied over and over. Who knows what actually happened with the call while she was at her mom's. The worst part is, if given the chance again, can OP actually be able to trust her in one of these situations? I wouldn't. No, he'll never trust her again. That man is going through it right now. I can guarantee you that. He didn't update, but he's going through it right now. Someone said, you are now plan B. Sorry if that's harsh, but I don't see how it's not so. People using plan B will always look for a new plan A, and B never gets promoted to top billing. The events of your story mirror mine very closely. Model wife immediately after the truth came out. Counseling going well. A real sense of hope until she finds a new A. Get out now with something of your dignity intact. Your children will ultimately be okay. Right now, they know something is wrong. No matter how well you think you two are covering it up, they are smarter than you think and a hell of a lot more resilient. To me, man, this is just crazy. I can't believe. Guys, let me let me know what you think about this in the comments. Come on, man. I'll put the title. I'll put the link to this in the description like usual. Let me know what you think about this one, and I'll catch you guys at the next one.